today. From Nissan Stadium in Nashville, Tennessee. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Tennessee Titans taking on the New York Giants. By many accounts, one of the most underrated home venues in all of the NFL resides in the heart of Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we find ourselves at Nissan Stadium. Today, it's the opener of a new NFL season between the New York Giants and the Tennessee Titans. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second down. Here's Barkley again. Four yards the pickup, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that is incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Throw in deep for Galladay. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Giants! Kenny Galladay, 64 yards. And the Giants are on the board here first in the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season, big-time success, putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. Now a play fake here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Up the middle with Barkley. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. 
And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Has this complete to Daniel Bellinger. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The end result, 21 yards. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I, is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by Elijah Molden. And the Titans are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line when the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass. They begin with a run by Barkley. They find some open field here. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17 into the red zone. First down. So a little breathing room now. First and 10 at the 17. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that one into the hands of Shepard downfield. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Steps away. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Sterling Shepard, 61 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. That part was easy. You could see that throughout his college career, but what you want to know about a rookie is when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there, and boy, it was pretty. here on first down escaping the pressure right and he'll go down at the 26 forming a gain of six I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down but give him credit he stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage well done second and four Looking for Shepard deep. And got his man complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. This offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and ten. Barkley inside handoff. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Coming up on a second and six. They'll run it again with Barkley. 
And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 62 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Back to throw here. Flushed out right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great play there. Now with his third touchdown in his first ever NFL game. And the Giants are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. That touchdown, Charles, the first rushing TD of his rookie year. I don't know that he's going to be Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Josh Allen at this stage of his career, but he's got youth on his side. Those young legs. He... They'll come out throwing here on first down. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. It's Jeffrey Simmons that time who got in to record the sack. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carping them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll get things started up at Ford Field in Detroit, where it was the Lions who were able to come away with the home victory. 18-17, the final score. From there, let's get over to Arizona to check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Chiefs. The Cardinals seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Jacksonville Jaguars. Carson Wentz, two touchdown passes, as his guys are able to get the victory in their season opener. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, old momentum, 
He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Out of the gun now on third down. Flush to his right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He'll look to throw. Looking for Shepard deep. It's caught at the 10. A big play there for the Giants. And even 40 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They're going to look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. That's caught at the one. Touchdown, Giants. Kadarius Toney, a seven-yard touchdown ground. And the Giants will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah, three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line. First down carry for Barkley. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 73 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. Now Saquon Barkley. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On second down, here's Barkley. Able to avoid him at the 40. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A big play there on the catch and run. 36 yards. You get a rookie tight end who can run like this. It just gives this offense a different dimension than they've had. It's going to be fun to watch his development and how this offense expands as this season moves along. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Barkley is into the end zone. Touchdown, Giants. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get... The 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got it at the 15. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. 39 yards there, a big one. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Now back to throw. Escaping the pressure. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Sterling Shepard. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Giants are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Looks like he'll throw here. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. They'll look to throw. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1-0 and start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up presents, isn't it, partner? You're not quite sure what's inside, but you're hopeful, right? In this case, exactly what they were looking for, exactly what they need. First down, he'll drop to throw it. Looking for Shepard deep. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. I think it's barely safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. He's going to go up top again. He's got a man complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. Well, 
Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for the Giants, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they'll return home next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.